If you have people communicating on lots of different channels, it quickly can become an absolute nightmare. You wanna have one clear entry point and exit point for all business communication so you can be more productive with your time. Number three is when do they report? What time of day? What days of the month should an employee communicate? Those are big deals, right? All communication should be regularly scheduled on calendars. And if you don't live by your calendar, you need to do that. So if you don't plan your time, your time plans you. If you want to grow and scale your business, this might be one of the most important videos you ever watch if you are currently in the position where you need to build a team. This is hands down one of the biggest things that most small business owners screw up. And so if you're listening to this, please take note of this, rewatch this and use this right now inside of your business to build a high performing team and make sure that everyone is on the same page and you're able to scale quickly. My name is Kale Lohan. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And our goal here is to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives and ultimately stack a whole Whole bunch of cash. And right now I want to go through the communication cycle that you should have set up with your employees to ensure that your entire team is kept in the loop and everyone knows exactly what's happening so that not only is your team engaged, but they're able to perform at an extremely high level. And there are five steps to this that we need to look through and let's break those down right now. And these are the five things that every employee needs to know. If you checked out other videos, we've talked about the four R's document, their roles, responsibilities, requirements, and results that a, an employee should have. This is the communication cycle. So so number one is who do they report to? Every employee needs to know who they report to. If they don't, important things are ultimately going to fall through the cracks and that's going to be a massive problem as you grow and scale. So if, if you have people that are all on the same level, and everyone is reporting to you at the start, that's okay. But as you begin to grow, you really are gonna have a hard time if you get past five direct reports. So if you have more than five direct reports that are reporting directly to you, you're gonna get into a problem where things are gonna get dropped and it's gonna be harder, where you're gonna have to build out different layers of management. It's very important to understand this because I know this as a former small business owner and I was like, no, I don't wanna get all corporate. That's not corporate, that's just good management. So as you build out different layers here, it will insulate you, you from all of the BS that happens as you grow and scale to allow you to focus on the vision and the actual growth of your business. So number one is make sure everyone knows who they report to. The next piece is how do they report? So what medium do you want people to report on? Do you prefer Facebook Messenger? Are you gonna use text? Are you gonna Slack? Are you gonna use phone? If you have people communicating on lots of different channels, it quickly can become an absolute nightmare. And you become a slave to ultimately your messages. So you're going back between Facebook Messenger or Slack or email or phone, whatever it is. You wanna have one clear entry point and exit point for all all business communication so you can be more productive with your time. Number three is when do they report? What time of day? What days of the month should an employee communicate? Those are big deals, right? All communication should be regularly scheduled on calendars. And if you don't live by your calendar, you need to do that. So if you don't plan your time, your time plans you. An example of this is our sales team on our side. They have a meeting in the morning and they have a wrap up in the afternoon. We use Slack in between for any questions and they use Slack to communicate with our contracts team whenever we're making a close. But they have an in-person meeting in the morning and they have a wrap up basically in person. I say in person because we're virtual and it's over Zoom meeting in the afternoon, but they always communicate over Slack. We never communicate over Facebook Messenger or anything like that. So it's either Slack or email. The next thing that we need to talk about is what should they report? So you wanna make it very clear what information that you need to get in every single type of communication. Should they be sharing their numbers? Should they ask questions? Who do they go to for questions, right? What's the first line of defense for you as the business owner as you grow and scale? Who should they be asking questions to? Should they come directly to you for all the questions? Should you Google it first? Like, should they go to this SOP? What should happen first, right? So every single department is gonna might need different information, but ultimately they need to have it clearly set out so they know exactly what they should report. And number five is how is each reporting cadence different? Last thing to think about when you're thinking about this communication cadence is you got different options. You could be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. What we have found to be most successful is a daily huddle, especially if you're a gym owner. You have a daily quick 10, 15 minute huddle with your team. Then you have weekly meetings to review weekly numbers. And then you have monthly meetings to review monthly numbers. And then you do quarterly planning sessions with at least your leadership team or at least a chance for you to present your vision for your team. And as your organization gets bigger, and bigger, you need to make sure that communication is really the key hub that holds everything together. So everyone truly understands exactly what's happening inside of the business and you're not missing anything. So nothing falls through the cracks. Not only are your own employees kept in the loop on everything, but if they are, they're now able to communicate and serve your clients better. If you found this information helpful, we have put together a document that includes this framework along with a whole bunch of other ones. It's called the seven money models we use to scale gyms to over $100,000 per month by clockwork. You can grab it for free by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, hit that subscribe button to find out more about how you can grow and scale your gym so that you can reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash.